Hi friends, here in this video, I would be explaining the problem on simple machines. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question in front of us. Whatever is given here, I'll write that in the form of data. It is given that in a single threaded worm and worm wheel. So, the type of machine is worm and worm wheel. So, this problem is specific. It belongs to only worm and worm wheel. The number of teeth on the worm wheel are 50. So, the number of teeth is denoted by capital T on the worm wheel that is 50. The diameter of the effort wheel is 20 centimeter, capital D, 20 centimeter. So, the radius would be half of this diameter, 10 centimeter and that of the load drum is 10 centimeter. So, the diameter of the load drum is 10 centimeter that is small d. So, small radius would be 10 by 2 that is 5 centimeter. Then find the effort required. So, P has been asked to lift a load of 300 Newton at an efficiency of 20 percent. So, the efficiency is given for this machine 20 percent. So, it means it is 0 0.2 if I divide this by 100. Now, when we have such kind of problems which belongs to a specific machine that is worm and worm wheel is given here, we need to find the velocity ratio for the worm and worm wheel and that velocity ratio, it is given by the formula, I will write it into the solution part. Since the velocity ratio for the worm and worm wheel is given by the formula, it is capital R into capital T divided by small r. Now, how this formula comes from, for that you all can refer my previous video of worm and worm wheel in which I had given the description regarding this formula, that is I had explained worm and worm wheel and how this formula comes from and the the link of that video would be provided in the description so you all can refer that video now capital r it is 10 the number of teeth is given as 50 small r is 5 so from this i'll get the velocity ratio and my answer is 100 and velocity ratio doesn't have a unit. Next, after getting the velocity ratio, the question is to find the amount of effort required to lift a load of 300 Newton. So, for that, I'll use the efficiency formula. And this efficiency formula is a general formula for all the machines. It is MA upon VR. Mechanical advantage is W upon P into VR. So, therefore, efficiency is 0 0.2. Load W is 300. Effort is what we have to find out. Velocity ratio is 100. So, therefore, P would be shifted onto the other side. 0 0.2 would be here in the denominator. And the answer of effort comes out to be. 15 Newton. So, it means in order to lift a load of 300 Newton by using this worm and worm wheel arrangement, we would be requiring an effort of 15 Newton. So, that was the problem. At the end, if you all find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.